Tokyo improved its infrastructure before the games, but activists wonder how long the focus will continue in a country with a long history of excluding people with disabilities. Yudo Hirano, a Paralympic volunteer, said that he sometimes encountered unexpected barriers at buildings in Tokyo billed as accessible. Credit Chang W. Lee slash The New York Times Tokyo Before ushering in the Paralympic Games, Tokyo undertook a wave of projects to make itself more accessible to people with disabilities. Nearly all train stations now have elevators, and some have safety barriers along platform edges to protect the visually impaired. About 3,200 newly built hotel rooms are wheelchair accessible, as are stalls and many public bathrooms. Yudo Hirano, a Paralympic volunteer, welcomes the changes. But as he rolled up one recent afternoon in his wheelchair to a building advertised as accessible, a nearly imperceptible barrier stopped him in his tracks. He bumped against a slight incline leading to the automated front doors and could not get over it without someone pushing his wheelchair from behind. There have been three or four occasions where they said, yes, we can accommodate you, but when I get to the location, I actually cannot physically get inside, said Mr. Hirano, 31, an accountant for a technology company. So I've had to turn around and go straight home. The Paralympic organizers have repeatedly promoted the power of the games to draw attention to the needs not only of elite athletes, but all people with disabilities, speaking loftily of the chance to build a society free from discrimination or barriers of any kind. Advocates, too, have embraced this grand international moment, saying it demonstrates how people who live with physical and mental impairments can achieve at the highest levels. Beyond the inspirational uplift, they say, the infrastructure changes will help improve the daily lives of people with disabilities in Japan. Yet these advocates also wonder how long the attention will last in a country with a long history of keeping people with disabilities out of sight. In Japan, many children with disabilities are still educated in separate schools or classes, large companies operate segregated subdivisions for employees with disabilities, and people with intellectual disabilities are often warehoused in institutional facilities. The successes are hardly coordinated, said Mark Bookman, a historian of disability in Japan who has lived on and off in the country for 13 years. If you make a school accessible but there is no workplace waiting on the other end, it doesn't really matter. If you make the train accessible but the school is not, it doesn't really matter. If you make an accessible toilet in the building but the building itself is not accessible, it doesn't really matter. Access is not just a moment where you solve things, Mr. Bookman added. All data is taken from the source, http colon slash slash nytimes.com. Article link, https colon slash slash www.nytimes.com slash 2021 slash 09 slash 03 slash world slash Asia slash Japan Paralympics disabled dot html. Hashtag disabilities hashtag newsroom hashtag news studio background hash news Halloween hashtag news era solution hashtag news fly hash.